Apparently every book for the rest of the year I'm reading with Alex. <laughs> Maybe rate reviews are in store. Why doesn't anyone want me to read Parable of the Sour? <laughs> Wait till you get, like, no, don't, don't tell me that. I truly do not know where the year has gone. I do not know how it is already September, but here we are. Before I get into my September TBR, I do want to announce that I'll be hosting a read along starting in October. It'll be October, November, skip December, and then January for the Under the Northern Sky series. There's a little confusion about this. Um, so the release date for the third book, The Cuckoo, which is why I'm doing this, was pushed back in the US. If you are in the UK or Europe, I believe you already have the book. Uh, or are about to get the book in September, but in the US it comes out in December. So I moved the read along. I was really gonna, I was originally gonna do it in the summer when it was gonna come out in the summer, then in the fall when it was gonna come out in the fall, and now for the US it's coming out in December. So we're gonna read The Wolf in October, The Spider in November, then December because that is the month that it comes out and because December is crazy with holidays and whatnot, then we're gonna skip December and then in January read The Cuckoo. And I'll be having live shows for all three books. Alex Nieves is joining me for these, possibly a few other people, but definitely Alex. Apparently every book for the rest of the year I'm reading with Alex. <laughs> so if you haven't read the series yet, um, it's because you don't actually love me and you don't actually want to read the books that I like. I'm just kidding. Uh, this is a great time to pick it up because it will be concluding with a cuckoo. I'm so excited slash nervous for the ending. I've read The Wolf now five times and about to read it for a sixth time. Or I've read it four times and I'm gonna read it for a fifth time. No, I think, I think this will be my sixth time. <laughs> I love this series. I hope other people will love it too. It doesn't get nearly enough attention and hype. So hopefully all y'all can get hyped and read it with us. I'm really looking forward to it. But if nobody but Alex shows up, I'm still excited because I get to read these books and talk about them. <laughs> but do consider joining us. On to what I'm reading in September. It is a um, pretty average size TBR. One of the books on my TBR I don't have a physical copy of yet, so I have a placeholder in here, but we'll get to that in a second. First up I have Dragon Keeper by Robin Hobb. This is the first book in the Rainwild Chronicles. Mara and I are continuing our Realm of the Elderlings journey. Uh, we are starting now the Rainwild Chronicles and we're reading, I believe our schedule, we were doing every other month, but I think now with these we're gonna do this in September, the second book in October, then skip November and then read them in December and January. I think that's what we agreed to. I'm not sure. Or we're gonna read, no, maybe we're gonna do these back to back. Yeah, September, October, November, December, then skip January and then come February, start Fits in the Fool. That might be our plan. <laughs> I think that's our plan, I'll check with Mara. But for sure, for sure in September, we are reading Dragon Keeper. We've heard pretty neutral to negative things about Rainwild Chronicles, but you know, it's Hobbes, so we expect it to be at the very least like pretty well cobbled together. And Mara really, really loves the Rain Wilds. I think the Rain Wilds are interesting. So, I mean, I'm interested in reading this. I haven't heard anyone say that it's like complete garbage. <laughs> so, and these are all a, uh, a bit shorter. I've heard that they're more YA in vibe and tone, which is generally speaking fine by me because I can't imagine Robin Hobb writing anything like awful and tropey and like cliche and whatever. Like Robin Hobb's a good writer. So like, I feel like at worst these books will be like kind of lackluster, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe rant reviews are in store one a month until we finish. Who knows? Who knows? But we're definitely reading it. Next up is the book that my patrons have chosen for me to read and vlog for them, and that is Kindred by Octavia Butler. I originally wanted Parable of the Sower to be my first Octavia Butler book, but then Bethany chose Fledgling for me, and now my patrons are choosing Kindred for me, and it's just not in the cards for me to read Parable of the Sower, apparently. Why doesn't anyone want me to read Parable of the Sower? <laughs> I do own Parable of the Sower, and I, I could just pick it up and read it anytime, but I haven't, so. It's really on me, isn't it? I am excited to read Kindred. I've heard amazing things about Kindred. I've heard amazing things about Oct Oct Octavia Butler in general and Fledgling was really, really good. Um, so I'm excited to read. Excited feels wrong because I feel like this is gonna be a pretty dark read, but I am looking forward to reading Kindred. Next up is a book that I don't have a physical copy of and that is Babel by R.F. Kuang. I ordered the Waterstones edition of it and it has not yet arrived from the UK, but it will be here soon, at least in time to read it in September, that will be the buddy read for me and my patrons because uh, we are finally finished with the Dandelion Dynasty. So we are allowed to read other things now. <laughs> I think uh, it should be a pretty good discussion when I put the poll up for what our next buddy read would be. Babel was the runaway winner. It was no contest. <laughs> We're all hyped for it. We'll see if it can possibly live up to all the hype. I'm trying to go in with like, I don't know. I mean, honestly, like to be completely frank, I'm not that hyped about it. Like, I mean, I think it'll be good and I'm looking forward to reading it. But the way that people are like losing their minds over it and ordering like 50 different editions of it, like I only ordered the Waterstones edition. Um, I didn't order like every edition that there is. And 
I'm not like, oh my god, Babel, I need it. Like I didn't, I also just generally don't request arcs, but I didn't really have any interest in requesting an arc. I'm like, it'll be fine. Maybe it'll blow my mind. That's great if it does, but I don't expect it to. Um, and I feel like if it is going to blow my mind, it's more likely to do so if I'm not expecting it to. So I'm not, I don't think I'm going to hate it. I think I'll probably like it. But I just, I don't feel hyped for it. I don't really know why, because I love Dark Academia, or at least I think I, maybe that's it. Dark Academia most of the time lets me down. That's why I decided to make my placeholder the secret history. <laughs> yeah, most of the time I'm like, yeah, no, I was excited, but you done let me down. So I was excited for all those other Dark Academia books that let me down. So by not being excited for this and then this being good, that balances the scales in some form or other, I think, right? Right, cool. Anyway, that will. Next up, I'm reading a, a book with Alex because <laughs> we're reading everything together for the rest of the year. And that is Jade Legacy. Yes, I failed to read Jade Legacy in August. I know. I know, but it's fine because I'm going to read Jade Legacy with Alex now because he kind of started it, kind of planned to read it and didn't either. So we're both going to read it in September. And I'm really, really excited for it. And I'm excited to read it with Alex because I'll have somebody to talk to about it. Not that like I can't talk to like the entire internet about it because everyone except for me and Alex has read it. But, you know, we can talk spoiler free with each other instead of like talking about Jade Legacy with somebody and having the response from every single person be like, wait till you get like, no, don't don't tell me that. Don't give me any expectations. I don't want to know. I want to go through this blindly. And with Alex, we can stumble our way through perfectly blind. <laughs> Next up is the continuation of the Sword of Truth read along with Bethany. We are at Chainfire by Terry Goodkind. Uh, we have two more to go after this and then we're done for the year. I just reread Naked Empire, the 11th hour. And I, that's the one that I stopped at when I first read these books. I never read past Naked Empire. So this, for the first time, will be new to me. I've never read Chain Fire, which is exciting to me. To finally read a Terry Goodkind book after reading them all year. <laughs> finally reading one that I have not read before. Like, wow. So yeah, should be a good conversation. This live show will be on Bethany's channel. Also with Bethany, we are continuing the first law read along on the podcast with... A Little Hatred by Joe Abercrombie. We are at the age of madness. We are here. I am so stoked to see what Bethany thinks of it. And not only am I reading this with Bethany, but Elle, uh, from Elliot Brooks is doing a read along of the Age of Madness trilogy on her Patreon. And I will be joining her over there for that as well. So just all of the Abercrombie-ness. I'm so excited. Age of Madness trilogy is so good. I'm excited to reread it. And I'm so excited to see what people think of it. Uh, Cause a lot of my patrons have been reading First Law books. Bethany, this will be her first time. Uh, this will be Elle's first time. So excited to see what everybody thinks. It's so good. It's so good. And I'm so excited to reread it. Yes, I'm so excited. Okay, anyway, yeah. Um, a little hatred. And last and probably least <laughs> is my Book of the Month Club book because I have to read them per my own rules. My uh, August Book of the Month, therefore, being read in September is Small Angels by Lauren Owen. Um, the cover got me. It looks kind of spooky and moody, which seems like a great thing for as we're entering into fall. Book of the Month has been pretty crap this year for me, and at least the books that I've been picking, that might be my fault. So hopefully this is not crap. Hopefully I love this. I love the cover, but I often love the cover and that's how they get you. Little blurb says, in a hypnotic tale of sisterhood, first love, and hauntings, a wedding in a small English village stirs up unsettling magic and forces a troubled family secret out into the open. I mean, that sounds like the kind of thing that I'd watch on TV all the time, like every British thing that I watch. <laughs> Hopefully it translates to being a good book. Is the author British? Because that would help. I feel like if it's an American writing about Britain, which is what would be me, they kind of fetishize it. She studied at St. Hilda's College, Oxford, and holds an MA in Victorian Literature from Leeds University and an MA in Creative Writing from the University of East Anglia, where she was awarded the Curtis Brown Prize. She has a PhD in English Literature from Durham. Okay, so she's, she's pretty freaking British. <laughs> At least that part of it will be fine. Um, so boy, boy, that's a long resume. This book better be good. All right, that's what I'm reading in September. I'm, in addition, as usual, I'll be reading lots of other things for vlog projects and mood and things and stuff. But that's what I'm for sure reading. Let me know in the comments down below what you'll be reading, if you're excited about what I'm gonna be reading, if you wanna warn me about what I'm gonna be reading, whatever you wanna let me know. I post videos on Saturdays, other random times will be definitely Saturday, so like and subscribe, join my Patreon if you feel so inclined, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye. Thank you.